Hello and welcome back to Game Domain. Today we're going to be looking through all of the revealed Generation 8 Pokémon. Pokémon Sword and Shield are set to come out mid-November of this year, and as that date sneaks upon us, Nintendo has slowly been revealing more and more Pokémon. At the point of writing this video, there have been 19 Pokémon revealed, three of which are the Galarian Starter Pokémon, two of which are the box cover legendaries, three are Galarian variants of previous Pokémon, and the rest are just more brand new, unique Galarian Pokémon. In this video, we're going to go through each one and talk a little bit about them. So, let's get started by breaking down the three starters. Grookey The Galarian Grass Starter was of course one of the first to be revealed, being shown to us back in the official reveal trailer for the new Switch titles. Grookey is a cute little grass type known as the Chimp Pokémon. The current known ability of Grookey is Overgrow, which according to Bulbapedia, boosts the Pokémon's attack or special attack by 50% during damage calculation if a grass type move is being used. Grookey has stolen many fans' hearts already. Score Bunny. This fire starter is a rabbit-like creature that gains more firepower as it runs around. Score Bunny is known as the rabbit Pokemon and has the ability Blaze, the common ability for essentially all fire-type starters up until this point. Sobble. Next up is Generation 8's water starter, the water lizard Pokemon, Sobble. Sobble has the unique characteristic to camouflage itself in water and is also equipped with an all-around adorable design. Sobble has the Torrent ability, which has the same effect as Overgrow does, but in this case, of course, with Water-type moves. Gossy Fleur This Grass-type Pokémon seems to be one of the textbook early game Pokémon, probably appearing within one of the first two roots of Galar. Designed with a flower-like look, Gossy Fleur has two known abilities, Cotton Down and Regenerator. Eldegoss Related to Gossy Fleur, Eldegoss is known as the Cotton Bloom Pokémon. She has the same abilities as Gossy Fleur, along with a slightly more menacing look than its flower counterpart. Wooloo. The latest addition to the sheep lookalike line of Pokemon, Wooloo is known as just the straight up sheep Pokemon. Wooloo's design looks the closest to a real and generic sheep that we've gotten in any Pokedex so far. It even has the ability Fluffy. Introduced into the Pokemon world in Generation 7, Fluffy has the Pokemon with the ability to take half damage from any move that makes contact with it. Wooloo can also have the runaway ability. Dreadnought. Known as the Bite Pokémon, Dreadnought is the first dual-type Pokémon that we've gotten thus far. Equipped with the common dual type of Water and Rock, the Bite Pokémon has the abilities Strong Jaw or Shell Armor, one of which of course being an Attack Enhancer, and the latter of course being a Defense Enhancer. Corviknight The only flying type we've gotten so far, Corviknight gives us a very unique dual typing. The Flying Steel dual type is most prominently known from Generation 2's Skarmory, but this Generation 8 bird seems a lot more menacing. The most unique design we've seen in the Galar Pokedex, Corviknight is known as the Raven Pokemon. It has the infamous ability Pressure, along with the chances of having the abilities Unnerve or its hidden ability Mirror Armor. Alcremi Arguably the oddest of all the designs we have so far, Alcremi is known as the Cream Pokemon, for truly no explicable reason. Alcremi is the generation's first fairy type, which is of course the newest of all the types. Alcremi has the Sweet Veil ability, making it seem like a fan favorite, lovable baby Pokemon. Yamper. Now, we wanted to keep our opinions to ourselves for this one, but Yamper might just be the dopiest looking Pokemon so far. Called the Puppy Pokemon, Yamper is just an electric type. Somewhat cute, but also somewhat odd, this puppy has the ability Ball Fetch. Introduced for this generation, Ball Fetch gives the Pokémon the ability to retrieve the first thrown Pokéball that fails to catch a wild Pokémon. So Yamper is essentially saving us money. I kinda like this guy. Roly Coley Known as the Coal Pokémon, this floating ball with a red eye popping out, otherwise known as Roly Coley, is the generation's base rock-type Pokémon, following in the footsteps of Generation 1's Geodude. Roly Coley's Steam Engine ability is brand new for Sword and Shield, and it raises its speed stat when hit with a Water or Fire-type move. Its secondary ability is Heat Proof. Duraludon The first of Galar's Dragon-type line, Duraludon actually has a dual type as well, with its second type being Steel. Known as the Alloy Pokémon, its abilities are Light Metal and Heavy Metal, both of which were introduced back in Generation 5. Duraludon is another one of these Pokémon who certainly has a very appealing design, and we might certainly want to add this pocket monster to our team. Morpeko. Another addition of the generational Pikachu clone, Morpeko is known as the Two-Sided Pokémon. It seems to have some sort of relation to the evil team of this generation, Team Yell. Morpeko has two different forms, an Electric-type form and a Dark-type form. Although this Pokémon is different and unique, we still all know that Game Freak is just attempting yet again to make another iteration of Pikachu, just as they have for all these years. Its unique Hunger Switch ability will allow the Pokémon to switch back and forth between Full Belly Mode and Hangry Mode each turn. 
And yes, those are actually the names. We didn't misspell them. Galarian Zigzagoon. Returning for the second straight generation is Regional Variants. And yes, none of us necessarily wanted them, but here, we have them. The first line of Galarian Variants we got is from Generation 3, being the Zigzagoon line. The new Zigzagoon variant is a dark and normal type, essentially looking the same as the Hoenn variant, just with a color design that makes it look exactly like a raccoon. The new Zigzagoon variant is a dark and normal type, essentially looking the same as the Hoenn variant, just with a color design that makes it look exactly like a raccoon. Galarian Lanoon. The evolved form of Zigzagoon, Lanoon is also a dark normal type. Like its pre-evolution, Lanoon is just the same with a slightly more menacing look and a different color palette. But there is a brand new addition to the line, Obstagoon. Arguably one of the weirdest Pokemon names we've seen yet, Obstagoon is a Galarian evolution to Lanoon, being the first added evolution to a pre-existing line since the fourth generation. Known as the blocking Pokemon, this evolution moves the line into an upright standing position with a very menacing and evil look to it. Obstagoon has the reckless and guts abilities. Galarian Weezing. The second revealed Galarian variation is to the Weezing line. And I mean, really? All that's different is an added smokestack in the shape of a top hat. Seems like somebody might have ran out of ideas during this design. Zacian. Now we're up to the legendaries. Zacian is the legendary donning the cover of Pokemon Sword. Now, although this design looks very cool and all around badass, it's almost like the design was put together and then they realized they needed to somehow incorporate the game's title into the legendary. And how do you fix this? Well, just put a sword in its mouth, of course. But getting aside, this legendary looks pretty awesome. Zamazenta. And finally, the last Pokemon that's been revealed to us, the Legendary for Pokemon Shield. Fit with a shield on its face, Zamazenta shares a lot of design elements with Zacian, just with a different color palette. But we can't wait to see these two Legendaries in action. Well, that was a fun one. That's all of the Generation 8 Pokemon that have been revealed to us so far. What do you guys think of this style of video? Let us know in the comment section below and give us your personal opinion on these Generation 8 Pokemon. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And don't forget to check out some of the more recent videos, which we will leave links in the description for, as well as our Patreon and our Discord. Check out our Patreon where you can donate to our cause and contribute to the great videos that we produce. Some benefits of becoming a Patreon member include seeing future videos a day early, as well as having your name displayed at the end of our content. Our Discord is open to you guys to come and chat with our staff members and each other about gaming, so don't be afraid to join. We have great discussion about gaming topics in our Discord, and it's a great way to communicate and even play with fellow gaming fanatics and viewers of our channel. Down in the description, we also have links to our merchandise stores, and there you can purchase an array of game domain merch, ranging from mouse pads to even phone cases. We are now over 25,000 subs, and we just wanted to once again thank all of you guys for all of the love and the support you've given us these past three and a half years. Stay tuned to Game Domain for more great content, and thanks for watching today's video.